this factory is ground zero for Dr. Martens. The factory building itself is over 115 years old. The main product that Dr. Martens make is the 1460 boot, the eight eyelet boot that everybody recognizes as a dock. That was made in this factory floor on the 1st of the 4th, 1960. So the whole production history dates back to the very beginning of this brand. In the Cobbs Lane factory, we make what is known as the Made in England collection. That's three different types of products. So there's the vintage dot nines, which are made exactly the same way they were made back in the 1960s. There's also the Made in England collection, which um, has a spring, summer, and an autumn, winter. We use materials that have a story, things that come with their own brand name and their own recognition, like Harris Tweed or like British Millerain fabric. And then the third uh, product range that we have is the collaboration shoes that we make here. Once the pieces are cut, we can then concentrate on making sure that each individual piece of leather is the right thickness. If we need to emboss characters on them so that we can tell on a finished shoe what size they are, where they were made, what model they are, all of that can happen using hot metal embossing and foil. At a glance, the closing room looks like one sewing machine after another, and principally it is, but every one of those machines does something different to the machine before it. So where some machines, the needle moves in a zigzag shape, the next machine it will move in a straight line. Some stitches are good for shape, some are good for strength. Different types of machines are needed the more complicated the shoe gets on, so the further down the line you get, the more features there are on each sewing machine. Puritan Stitch is a very old machine. It's got a needle movement on it that was patented in the 1890s. That type of stitch is one of the things that gives the Dot Martin 1460 so much constructional strength. PVC Well is the stage where things start to become uniquely Dr. Martin's. All other lasted shoe factories will use something along the lines of a leather welt and they'll stitch the sole onto the welt once the welt is stitched onto the upper. We do things differently. We stitch a PVC welt all the way around the upper. The 
sole and the well are melted together without using adhesive. Because there's no glue involved, it means the sole can't come unstuck. Basically, we've taken it high above its melting point, squeezed it together while it was liquid, and as it cools, it cools as one piece of PVC. This is where we're going to inspect them, clean them, put the socks in, tag them up, put the laces in, basically do everything we need to make sure they meet our standards and that they're ready for the customers. This place has been the home of the brand since before the brand started. At the top of our site we have a part of the building that we call the cottage. That got absorbed as the business grew over the years, so the family used to live in the cottage and at the end of their garden they would have had the Cobbs Lane Shoe Factory. As the brand grew over time when they needed more storage space or more office space, they built outbuilding after outbuilding until eventually it all joined up and became the shape it is today. Yeah.